Next, moving on, I want to speak about these shoes that everyone seems to be going goo goo gaga over, which I don't get and I don't think look that great personally. It's just a personal opinion. Don't kill me for having one. But I think Nike and Jordan brand get away an absolute murder when it comes to um, the vintage, well, when it comes to the Jordan shoes that they put out, especially when it comes to Vetros. So the shoe that I'm talking about at the moment is the, what, what, the, what are they labeling it as? If I'm going back to the tab here. They're labeling it as the Chicago Reimagined. So effectively, what Jordan Brand are doing now is they're taking the, you know, the, the very famous Jordan Brand silhouette. They're taking the Chicago colorway, one of the favorites, or one of the most hyped and lauded and loved colorways of a Jordan Brand brand, of, sorry, of, the, of the Jordan one. And they're basically reimagining it as a vintage shoe with updated basically materials and whatnot. So basically what they're doing is this version of what Adidas did with the with the forum highs and the lows and whatnot, where they basically took um, the retros and basically made them look vintage, but they went really far in terms of the shape, in terms of the vintage application. Everything on it is like extreme to the point where if you weren't educated in sneakers and you're just a lame person looking at it, you'll just look at them and you think, wow, these might actually be oh geez they kind of pulled out from you know the archives or some collector somewhere in the middle of switzerland and these are legitimately from the 80s but they're not they're legitimately retro that they've made nowadays but they were able to make them to spec and close to what they actually look like if you actually was to buy a vintage one that you'd kind of be mistaken for thinking that they were vintage and now jordan brown doing the same thing with the edge of the one oh hi og chicago reimagined but for me personally speaking i feel like these are pretty crap in terms of how they relate to the forums and what I did with these. I just don't think they marry up in at all. And I feel like Jordan brand kind of didn't really go as far as they could do in terms of the shape, in terms of the materials, in terms of the application, in terms of the finish. It just doesn't look that impressive personally for me. And I feel like this is another example of just them. I wouldn't say take, it's not taking advantage of the, of the, of the retro consumer, but it's just a lack of, understanding of the consumer that you do have because these are effectively made for sneakerheads like myself they're made for people who collect sneakers they're made for people that who give a shit about when stuff's released they're made for people who look in tired of tongues and read you know size tag labels people who go on ebay and scour places like japan yahoo J yahoo jp auctions to find crazy stuff or go to mom and pop stores or travel across the country to different shops to find rare and vintage products this is made for us so if it's made for us, why not make it to spec? Go as far as you can do in terms of production, in terms of finishing, in terms of application, whatever it may be, go as far as you can, charge a premium price for a premium product and let us buy them. But no, what they've effectively done is just taken a regular, what looks like to me, Jordan brand silhouette in terms of the Jordan 1 high and they've just basically made them try to make them look old by staining the tongue a little bit, by making the upper sort of black collar here towards the top look crinkled to kind of give it the impression that it's a vintage shoe and maybe they stained the midsole here and there. But in terms of the finish, in terms of the shape, compared to what Ayers is able to do with this, oh, with this kind of forum, right? In terms of how the suede stripes here on the side of the forum have that kind of wafty, that kind of um, fluffed up, bubbled, texture towards them um the staining here on the midsole the staining on the collar of the forum of the strap the laces and how they end up looking like they legitimately look like shoes that you could have found in 84 that have just been sold nowadays like legitimately look like that they look absolutely brilliant i'm actually surprised the forum isn't as a big as a popular shoe as it should be nowadays i don't know what the deal is about it but for whatever reason it hasn't really captured people's imagination and ada seems to have been keep trying to make these a thing but people just don't seem to be vibing with them i don't really know because they look pretty pretty sick to me personally especially when it comes to just a classic um you know mostly white basketball sneaker that can be worn as a casual shoe it's really perfect i feel like but for a reason it doesn't resonate and now we have some updated pictures of the jordan and it's i still maintain that they're pretty average and that they have done the bare minimum in terms of making them a quote-unquote reimagined shoe. But they're still going to be insanely popular. They're going to sell out. They're going to be all over the place. They're going to be resold for crazy amounts of money. But I just feel like they still haven't really kid it out of the park. These are still kind of shit, personally for me. It's not like a regular Jordan brand, a regular Jordan 1, 
with maybe some improvements on the lever but in terms of the shape of them like i'd imagine the tooling is no different to what you'd get from a jordan if you buy it from Foot Locker, or if you buy it for sneakers and stuff or buy them from essence whatever it may be it's still the same tooling and maybe the only thing they've done is that the finishing has been somehow different but again is the finishing on them that much better than what i have been able to do on a consistent basis and the reason why i keep saying is because remember when i used to work at nike when i used to work with these trendy sneaker stores back in the day when i was part of the you know of the culture and i was really giving a shit of being involved and whatnot one of the things that i kept getting told by people in the know who actually worked behind the scenes the reason why they couldn't retro shoes properly nike had a really bad reputation of retroing shoes terribly you think about the nike air stab right nike air stab you think about the uh yeah and the good, the good example is a foot patrol one absolutely great color one of the greatest colors of all time but that model was abs but that color was absolutely wasted on the model because the model was absolutely garbage right so they wasted it made the model look completely horrible and they're wondering why oh it's not horrible it's really good no it is horrible look at what the vintage one looks like the vintage air stab looks absolutely incredible right that's the vintage one he's wearing there it looks incredible there and there compared to the retro that actually came out looks absolutely bulbous and terrible but the absolute vintage one the real one that actually came out back in the day looks incredible in terms of shape another real big faux pas in terms of retros for nike was the air max light which i still have never 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 ever forgiven um, nike for, for absolutely torturing and butchering this retro it was completely horrible compared to what it actually is meant to look like get up on here the air max light right look look at how amazing that shoe is actually meant to look like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the actual og version or maybe it's not or maybe it's the one that people actually stained back in the day but there's a let me see if i can find an actual og version that someone's got yeah this is that kind of actual og that one's an actual og this one's an actual og and they look completely different and even this to com compare to the shape what it actually like end up coming up looking like right so completely horrible completely crappy done now when i was coming up in sneakers i was told the reason why they aren't able to make um ogs or they aren't able to make retros to the exact specifications as vintage shoes was because the tooling the whatever they use to make the the, the kind of form or the shape of the actual shoe it's way is really expensive like the tooling to make the shoe the the mold wherever it may be is like i don't know in the thousands so to remake the tooling would cost them so much money that they probably maybe are afraid they wouldn't get back or whatever it may be which I don't really buy because nowadays the sneaker industry or the sneaker market is a billion dollar industry. Everyone and their mum is basically a sneakerhead because everyone can get limited edition shoes. Um, for the advent of, you know, with the popularity of Yeezys and what not happening in the industry, it's fairly easy to say that everybody and their mum knows what a limited edition sneaker is. So if that's the case, there's more people out there buying sneakers than ever before. So this idea that you're not going to be able to sell them is crazy, right? You're not be able to make your money back is insane. So why not just make the shoe to spec, make it with the highest level of quality of materials and then try and sell it to sneakers like myself to, with a higher markup price and we'll still buy them out, but they don't do it. They just do the bare minimum. And what we have here, in my opinion, is just a standard Jordan 1 with maybe some improvements on the materials and the finish, but it's not really what I envision, what they sold it to be because they sold it to be this. They saw it to be what Adidas did with the forum, where they were able to take a forum, and even this is just like a classic one, but they took the forum and they were able to update it. You no, know, they're able to basically remake it as a vintage shoe in the modern era. Like that's a good example. This one, like this, in terms of what they're able to do. Maybe there's more scuffing on there. I don't really know what difference, but in terms of what Jordan Brand representing here with the Chicago reimagined, and what Adidas are doing with the forum, it's night and day like in terms of quality in terms of finish night and day they literally you know what i mean stealing a living with this shit i just don't understand why like because it's again like i said these are gonna be sold to sneakheads only they're gonna be sold to resellers only they're gonna be sold to jordan fanatics only and these all these people the one thing that kind of unites them all is the one thing of like really really good high quality sneakers if that's the case give them what they want make high quality sneakers invest as much money as you can to making them premium into making a finishing top grade and then try and sell it to us and most likely we'll buy them but as it is now 
I just think they're garbage. They're obviously going to sell because everyone's you know got a boner for Jordan brand shoes and especially retros nowadays. But in terms of the finish, in terms of what was promised, in terms of what I imagined them to look like, they look nothing like what was promised. And I feel like Adidas do a far better job, a far better what would you call it, a far better respectful job in honouring their great shoes from the past than what Nike do. They just churn out the same old shit. They make you limited. They make you wait. They make you take putting your name in a flipping raffle and like a picture and retweet this and all this sort of nonsense to have the chance to buy a pair when effectively all the shoes are the same, just in different colorways. And it's absolutely starting to piss me off. I'm not going to lie. It's starting to piss me off. It really, really is, man.